What's up, Jay? It's Mr. Glazer. Today we're going to be talking about email. Um, it occurs to us that you're going to be using email to communicate with your teachers, maybe really using it more than you ever have before. And there's a couple of things we want to go over um, so that you're really comfortable with it. Um, also, not only how to do uh, sort of get to your email and so forth, but also just sort of like do's and don'ts and some basic etiquette of um, how to do email. So first of all, how to find it. Uh, you will find uh, your email. It's a Gmail account. Okay, so you can either use the Gmail app, which some of you have downloaded, or you can always open up any web browser that you use, whether that's Chrome uh, or Safari, and just go to the, you know, if you go to Google, um, you can then click on the waffle here, and you can always find Gmail right there. Or you could always manually go to the address bar and type in mail.google.com. That'll get you there. And if you're logged in using your school district account, it's going to get you into your Gmail, right? And this is your inbox. And you can see this is my email. Some of you have emailed me recently with questions. Um, what we're going to go over, though, is how to send an email to a teacher. So let's say I wanted to send uh, an email to Mrs. Loy. Um, I would click on this Compose button here. And now it pops up. And I put in her, um, I start typing her name. And her address will pop up here. Uh, that'll be true of any of your teachers if you type in their first or last name. You always want to give your email a subject. So I'll call this quick question. Uh, and then one thing that I'm getting a lot from students is they'll say something very vague. I'll just get an email that just says something like, I don't know how to do it, or where do I find that thing? And that's really confusing. We don't really know how to help you there. Um, so first of all, you always want to start at an email. It's not like a text. It's more like a letter. So you want to either start out with, uh, dear Mrs. Loy, comma, or uh, if you want to be a little less formal, you could leave out the dear. But you want to start out with something like this, um, what we call the salutation. So Mrs. Loy, and then I want to give a, a more detailed explanation, not just um, I don't know where to find it, but something like I was working on uh, the video for class, and I cannot find that link you sent, can you help? Another thing that you want to make sure is that you're spelling out words. Again, email is not like text. You're not going to say uh, you are. You're going to say uh, you are, right? Um, you're not going to abbreviate the same way that you would uh, in some of your social media. This is a little bit more formal. And also what you want to do at the end is you want to sign your name. Thank you, comma, Mr. Glazer. OK? And then you just click on this Send button, which I'm not really going to do because I don't want to send her this email right now. Uh, and that will send it. The other thing you really want to make sure that you do, uh, and this is another problem that we have quite a bit, is if you send an email to a teacher, make sure you go back and check your email for that response. Sometimes I'll respond to a student, and it looks like they never really go back and check what I've sent them. So you want to make sure you do that. You should be checking your Gmail account at least once a day. Um, particularly if you've asked a question to a teacher, you should definitely be checking back to see if they've gotten back to you. Uh, in any event, that is our email lesson, and um, we're going to cover some other topics in the future. So keep checking with your Google Classrooms, okay?